that we'll briefly go over what we have been discussing so far. And if there are any questions, we'll uh, note them down. If I can answer them, I'll take them. Otherwise, we'll note them down for Ganeshji to take them. Okay. So our basic desire is for continuous happiness. And that is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling, right thought. So this has been the thread from right from the beginning. Now we can see that what is the meaning of right understanding in more detail. And this new word has been introduced, resolution. Resolution means right feeling, right thought. The outcome of right understanding and resolution will be discussed in the sessions that follow the human conduct and its outcome. So that will be discussed as we go along. Important thing to note here is that this continuous happiness is the need of the self. And this right understanding, right feeling and right thought is the activity of the self. So the need of the self is fulfilled by something outside or something within the self. Within the self. So within the self. So if you are attending the morning session, the first thing that they discuss is, is happiness something innate to human, uh, to the self, to the human being they say, but then they go into self. Or is it an external influence? So it is something innate. So you can see that it is innate to the human being. Right understanding means from UHV 1 and UHV 2 or UHV intro and UHV 2. It has been discussed as understanding of harmony. Okay. Understanding of harmony. Now we can expand it and see that it is seeing the existential reality as it is. Okay. So what does the existential reality as far as the units are concerned? What is the expanse of understanding the existential reality? So we can see that any reality has a form it has a shape, size, color, density, all these things. It has an effect on the other unit, We're calling it property. It also has a natural characteristic. When we discussed about nature, we divided nature into, or divided rather classified nature into four orders. That classification was based on what is our role vis-a-vis -vis that set of units. So what is our role vis-a-vis -vis the physical order? What is our role vis-a-vis -vis the bio order? Like that. Okay. So the natural characteristic of each of these orders is the same. I mean, each unit in that order is the same. So all units in the physical order have the same natural characteristic. That is why it is classified like that. And our participation with that order, we can decide on the basis of that classification. That is why it is classified in that manner. So the natural characteristic which is the participation in the larger order or the value has to do with the relationship. Relationship of mutual fulfillment. So I am in harmony, the unit is in harmony and it is participating in the harmony of the other units. So there is some natural characteristic of every unit. It is related to every other unit and it participates 
in the harmony of the other unit. Okay. So you can see your body, it has so many cells, they are interacting with each other in, a, in the larger harmony of that organ of the body and so on. Another thing that we can see is the innateness, the self-organization, its composition. It's harmony. So every unit has some organization. Okay. And by virtue of being organized like that, it has certain properties. It has certain recognition and fulfillment of the relationship. And the third thing is the coexistence. The base for these two. You can see that the form and property, what it looks like, what its color is, that keeps on varying from one unit of the same order with another unit of the same order or one unit uh, and another unit which is similar to it. So these keep changing. So a mango tree and another mango tree may not look exactly the same. So there is variety, but as far as these three are concerned, they are definite, unchanging, unchanging with time, place, they are unchanging. So right understanding means seeing the essence, this is the essence of the reality in its completeness, to see the whole reality. So when you see a human being, you see the self, you see the form and all that of the body. Maybe you don't see the form of the self, but you see the form of the body. You see the property in the sense that you see, you taste the behavior of that individual. Okay. But as we go along, we'll see that this Self is self-organized. That means every self has this imagination and every self has a natural acceptance. So it is self-organized. It has the potential for knowing. So when we see that reality in its completeness, we are able to interact with it in a mutually fulfilling manner. Recognize our relationship with it and fulfill that relationship in a mutually fulfilling manner. The self already has this possibility, possibility of knowing, it's been discussed, that possibility of knowing is essentially that these activities are there, they may be dormant but they are there and the possibility of awakening to these activities is also there. We can awaken to these activities. When we are awakened to contemplation, we are able to see the relationship, see it directly. Then there is no doubt that this is the way it is. So this pointer is a solid object. It will not rest on a, any, any air or it won't rest on water isn't it? So with that I am very sure. So I never put it here and there. I put it on some solid object. Similarly, when I see the relationship directly, then I am sure that I want to live with this feeling of relationship. That is contemplation. Contemplation means being able to see the relationship. Understanding means to see the harmony, the self-organization. And realization means I am able to see the coexistence, the submergence. Okay. And together, all of this put together is right understanding. 
and with that right understanding i have assurance in myself i am self assured i am self confident i don't need anything external for my confidence i am wearing good clothes so i am confident i am self confident regardless of what i am wearing okay this resolution this resolution right understanding based on right understanding the right feeling and right thought is all of these okay clarity of right understanding clarity of the innateness uh, the relationship harmony and coexistence wisdom means what to do and what not to do as a human being to differentiate between what is worth and what is not worth that will discuss now science how to fulfill the human goal science is in b1 or b2 b2 how to and in b2 where analyzing and comparing yeah okay. analyzing and comparing primarily okay these three are an outcome of what is happening in the self okay so our behavior with other human being work with rest of nature and participation in the larger order in the society in the nature in the entire nature so that is our participation and we participate along with the body so we have written as a human being so when you are be- behaving you may use some words you may use your body for something for speaking for listening similarly when you are doing work you need to use the body and similarly for participating in the larger order isn't it with this participation overall participation this is the outcome what happens in the larger order in the larger human order is what is written over here okay so there is an undivided human society there is a feeling of relatedness with each and every human being it is not divided into sect it is not divided into region it is not divided into country so it is i have a feeling of relatedness what is the completeness of that feeling of relatedness what is the feeling associated with the completeness of feeling of relatedness love, love. so that love is the foundation for this undivided society and universal human order that is another outcome the human system is fulfilling for each other there is a system for the well being of all so every family is participating in the well being of other families and together they are participating in the well being of the entire nature so well being of human being as well as the rest of nature so that is universal human order and human tradition means that there is a system to propagate this undivided society and universal human order generation after generation so it continues so every new self that comes as a child has the opportunity to develop the right understanding the right feeling the resolution and live in a fulfilling way and participate 
in a fulfilling way for the continuity of the human tradition. Okay. So that is the outcome. So far we have discussed about these two. This, this part we have discussed, this part. And the rest of the day we will discuss all of this. This has been discussed in UHV intro as well as UHV 2. So it will be touched on very briefly. To see, how do you see? You see through the senses or you see through the self? So you see through the self. But you may use the senses for as an instrument to get some information. Who gives meaning to any sensation that you receive? Self. You give. Depending on what level you give that meaning, we will see whether it is reaction or response. If you give the meaning very early, you may react. If you give the meaning after analyzing, you may still react, but it, it may be later on. But if you give the meaning after you ensure your own feeling, then it will be a response. So when you interact from the level of contemplation, then that reaction will not be there. So. You see through the self. So all this we have discussed. So there are some things that you can see through the sensation. Some things that you analyze and give meaning to. And some things that you have to see directly. You cannot see them through the other two. You can't use logic to contemplate. You can't use your thought to contemplate. You can't use your thought to understand or realize. Okay. This has to be seen directly. This is direct observation. Okay. So in UHV 3, we are talking about this part. Okay. More of this part. The other parts are anyway there, isn't it? So when you are looking through your expectation, the selecting, tasting, you are able to see primarily the form. When you are looking through your thought, through analyzing, comparing, you are also able to see some part of the property. Okay. At the level of contemplation, you are able to see the natural characteristic or the relationship. So when only when we awaken to contemplation, we are able to see the relationship, we are able to see the feelings, we are able to evaluate the feelings. If you are looking from here and somebody is saying something, I am tasting their words, giving meaning to their words and then I compare it with my likes and dislikes and then I react or respond. If I am operating from here or here, if I am giving meaning to somebody's words only from the taste of this, will I generally react or respond? Generally I will react. Okay. So, at the level of contemplation, I am able to see my natural characteristic, the relationship, not only my natural characteristic, but the natural characteristic of every unit. And since we classified it into four units, you can see the, I mean, you only have to see the four natural characteristics. And that applies to the all the units in uh, that order. Okay. At the level of 
understanding, I am able to see the innateness, the harmony, the self-organization of every unit. When I am going up, I'll be able to see the natural characteristic of one or few units, not the whole order. I may be able to see the self-organization, the harmony of few units, not all. Okay. But as I keep going up, I see more and more. Okay. So, for example, we are able to see the self-organization of the physical order. Even today we can see that what is a self-organization. That is how we can make uh, steel, we can make so many materials, we can we understand that. Okay. But as we go with these higher activities, as we awaken to these higher activities, we will be able to see the self-organization of more and more units the entire orders okay. and when we get to submergence, the coexistence, when we are able to see the submergence directly, then we will be able to see that, oh, it is like this and then everything falls into place. So, this is what we are trying to do. I am also trying to do. I am not there yet. Okay. I am also working on it. So, it's a slow and gradual process, very non-violent process, okay. And every event that happens is a helpful event to draw my attention. It's like, wake up, look at this, <laughs> okay. So, this is to see. So, in this, there is this state activity, dynamic activity and all these labels that are there, I'll just mention a few. The state activity means what I have actually seen directly. And when I see it directly, it stays in me. I don't forget it. Kumar used the word, it is stated in me. So, I have written that over here. It stays with me. It becomes my property, you can say. Then I never lose it. So, that is state activity. When I see that it is like this, then my decision to be with it is the dynamic activity. Oh, it is like this. Oh, there is relationship. I don't have to make this relationship. then I decide to be with it. My expression in relationship may be very, very varied. But I can see that it is like this, so we make that choice to be with it. Yes. Uh, can we relate this with potential energy and kinetic energy? And <laughs> those you can keep doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. Those both are the both of those are related to the physical order, to material. We are talking about consciousness. Okay. Contemplation we have already seen. It is what I have seen about the natural characteristic, about the relationship, about the feeling what I have been able to see directly about this relationship. Understanding means what I have been able to see about harmony, about the innateness, about the self-organization. Okay.
and realization means i have seen the submergence this coexistence directly i can see everything is connected i can see its space i can see all this coexistence so that is the activity of realization and each of us and every human being has this potential to contemplate to understand and to realize the whole existence is flowing in that direction okay. so this question was raised that what is the center of my being where am i where am i today okay this question will come in your post workshop survey also okay so you can look into it okay so i just want to clarify some of these points so these uh, has been shared and uh, you can look into it but i just want to mention some things that when we are talking about particularly this level 2c 2b these two i want to mention or even this feeling from the other feeling from within and this feeling there are three places where this feeling has come so what does it mean okay and what <laughs> what does this sanskar mean this uh, preconditioning assumptions sanskar all these are used synonymously over here they are nothing different preconditioning is equal to sanskar the way we are using it okay because preconditioning may be with the preconditioning of living in harmony or it may be a preconditioning of living in opposition struggle competition etc so all preconditioning what is happening maybe there is i'll move this side let it be let it be i'll move this side yeah. it have assumed something which is in line with harmony or i might have assumed something which is not in line with harmony so for example if i have assumed that respect elders it is certainly in line with harmony but then i can expand it and say respect all that is also in line with harmony the first one is partially the second one is more complete okay bhaiya yes namaste to uh, share one incident when i registered for uh, uhv3 uh, we have a official process Uh, supraja didi has uh, sent me a long mail for about two pages this is what this is what this is how things goes about i wrote a letter and i shared it to my authority yeah and uh, it was given participant it never mentioned dear gauri shankar you have to so the trust i'm talking about the trust so my ir authority asked me see it is a general mail it is not uh, specifically mentioned to you then i told him sir everybody won't get mail those who are registered only will get mail still uh, the letter was not signed it was lying on the table as such uh, from the day one then uh, uh, i immediately i called sumati didi and i told her uh, madam i did not get the individual uh, participation mail so please uh, help me so she has shared me the thing through the process and i got it and once i showed it immediately the next moment uh, letter was signed where are you in this what you are sharing this relationship i am telling so this trust is not there is it here here or here that we have to keep looking so yeah and secondly one more incident is it 3b no it is okay not. we'll go into that so i got what you are saying okay i have about uh, one hour to complete this 
<laughs> okay. No, this and feeling when will comes, change. This feeling will change. So, um, how yeah, I this, will expect a feeling of uh, harmony? That's what we are talking about. This whole program is for you know developing ourselves. Exercise one and exercise two. First exercise one. Do it well. You will be able to see that you can move from here to here in exercise one, and from here to here in exercise one. This feeling. So that's what I wanted to clarify. Maybe I'll do that first. Rajul ji, namaste. Can I ask you one thing here? One second. Let me finish this one. Okay, fine. I mean this this slide. This feeling in three places is mentioned. When you are at three B, you are tasting the feeling and operating from that level. You are feeling good or bad. So you got the mail with participant and you didn't feel good. So then you said something and then now you feel good that you got. So that is operating from. You can check whether it is from here or from somewhere else, but that that is three B. Three A means I am able to find out my feeling. I am able to image or I am able to find out what is my feeling, and I am able to change that feeling at the level of expression. i have still not seen directly but i am able to operate from within b2 be aware of my feeling if that feeling is not the right feeling i am able to change that feeling to the right feeling so that is 3a over here and 3b i mean sorry 2c it includes whatever we have been able to contemplate about feeling it might include these things also this and this also but it includes that now i have been able to understand the feeling of trust i have the feeling of trust but i don't have the feeling of respect or maybe i have the feeling of trust and respect but i don't have the feeling of Uh, uh the higher feelings okay so that is what this means this these three things here this feeling from other means that i am operating from the level of what selecting and tasting okay selecting and tasting and maybe some thought i mean some uh, analyzing comparing this is from the level of imaging imaging okay and this includes that imaging and the selecting tasting and all that but it also includes the contemplation then when you come to 2b what is the meaning of this sanskar so sanskar basically means that whatever we have accepted as being so in our image from our imagination and that is accumulated in me and i am making my decisions on that basis so whatever is accumulated in me on the basis of which i make my decisions that is sanskar okay so it may come from my imagination or it may come from my b1 also what i have understood so it is that sanskar may be for harmony in line with my natural acceptance or that sanskar may be 
on the basis of uh, not my natural acceptance also. So it can be a mixture of both. But I decide on the basis of that. So if I, if my sanskar has money is everything, is that right sanskar or not the right sanskar? Not. But if I have assumed respect all, is it the right sanskar or wrong sanskar? Right sanskar. Okay. But even this right sanskar and wrong sanskar which is based on assumption which I have not verified yet or which I have not yet seen, which I have not yet understood, will keep on changing. We are not sure. Okay. So we have to be sure, but the sanskar will keep on getting modified by the way the existing sanskar is, the environment that we have and our self-exploration. Self-exploration basically means I am trying to awaken to contemplation, understanding and realization. I am making effort to awaken to this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, all that, uh, it is there. This imagination and acceptance is born out of right understanding over all time. All time means, take, take the mic. Yesterday and whenever I started my journey, everything. Yeah. People might remember so many things, you know. They may have memory of so many things. And the memory of your uh, acceptances, your sanskar will travel with you. And if you purify your sanskar, then that pure sanskar will keep traveling with you. Okay. Core of the sanskar, it has these two things. The core of the sanskar has to do with what I understand or assume, what I understand or assume about my participation in the larger order, or should say my participation. What is my value? What is my participation? About relationship. And what is my self-organization? What is my harmony? About these two topics. Okay. Sorry, Sunilji, you are uh, asking something and I... Uh, I just... I was trying to see those levels, four, three, go on. So, uh, and now we discussed about sanskar also. So, now also I am thinking whether these levels are independent or do we have dependency upon one level upon the other? For yeah. example, sanskar, does it depend upon, say, six, five, Physical facility, body. That is why this question is important. What is the center of my being? The essence of my sanskar will be situated over somewhere over here. But the whole thing is going to be there. It's not going to be just one. So when you are operating at this level, at this level of feeling within on the basis of contemplation, okay, then you'll still receive feeling from outside. You'll still image the feeling. You will still receive the feeling from the other. But this feeling you will use for what? To be happy or you will use it to identify the state of the other. Second one. So when you are operating from feeling from contemplation, you will still receive feeling from other. What will you use that feeling for? This feeling which is coming from the other. What meaning will you give to it? Will you use it for your happiness 
or will you use it to identify or evaluate the state of the other? But if you are operating only from here, you will evaluate it, I mean you will look at it for your own happiness. You may not evaluate the state of the other at all. So my center of being changes. Yeah, when your center of being is here, all these things are still operating. The whole thing is operating all the time. But where you are centered, Ganesh's example is nice. The house is still there, but you are under the bed. Or I am under the bed. <laughs> so, the house is still there, the, the, uh, all the rooms are still there, everything is still there. Okay. So the sanskar is situated in B2 over here somewhere. Okay. But that's not very important. It is situated somewhere and I am operating, making my decisions based on my sanskar. Okay, next we can talk about understanding this uh, nature and existence. So this... Yeah. Okay. So, um, for example, somebody is doing a lot of seva, but has not uh, understood that, has not, uh, doesn't have the feeling of 2C say. So can we say that uh, she's, he or she is in 3A? Doing lot of seva with the, that image, that person has that imaging of feeling and behaving that way. So yeah. is is that can we call that uh, he is at three A? Is my understanding correct? See, if they are doing seva for getting the right feeling from the other, want no. to show that I am doing seva. No, not not that. So there could be three conditions. One there that could be three conditions exactly. Yes. So uh, if I have not yet there in two C. But I am still doing that with the f imagination of that feeling, like, you know, imaging that feeling. Imaging that feeling. Correct? Yes. When you are at, if you are doing seva from here to see, okay, and you have seen the, uh, uh, these feelings, you have seen at least the feeling of trust, okay, then you will not be expecting anything out of it. It will become unconditional. In both of these, it is still conditional. Here it is conditional, very conditional. Here it is little bit less conditional. And here it is unconditional. Or if elevated based on what somebody else is saying. Okay. Here it still matters, but I am able to see that I can modify my feeling. I can have the right feeling. And still some disturbance will be there, but I am making effort. Over here it will become effortless. I don't have to make any effort to share the feeling of respect. Here I might have effort and here I have a lot of effort. Okay. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah. The previous slide, but one step back. Yeah. This one. Uh, Switch it on. It's not on. I'm just searching for the words, Baya. <laughs> what I am thinking, Baya, the sanskar may be at selecting, tasting also, analyzing comparison also. See, all of this will get accumulated here only. Because sanskar is essentially to do with what is my participation in the larger order? What is my relationship? Okay, so either I have understanding or I have some assumption and both of them are living there oh, or okay. they are situated there. You are accumulating them there. Uh -huh. okay. And 
if you modify it it is there only but i may be operating at selecting tasting based on my sanskar yes but it is residing there it that is, contemplation yeah. although that is not so important but it is there okay. because it has to do with my understanding of relationship and my understanding of harmony ji bhaiya thank you so either i have understanding of relationship or i have assumption about relationship this is my relative because this is from my family that is not my relative because this fellow lives in some other country is that clear this sanskar and feeling this is very important actually the feeling at these three levels because that's what exercise one is essentially trying to move us from wherever we are all the way to contemplation okay then we can see that existence is in the form of coexistence that is unit submerged in space coexistence is ever expressive it is expressing itself naturally all the time okay and we'll see its expression of submergence expression of this coexistence in terms of activity in terms of uh, pulsation and so on we'll see that it is expressing itself in the form of units the whole of nature all the four orders so this coexistence is expressing itself by virtue of coexistence or submergence every unit is energized in space it is self organized it is in harmony and it is participating in the larger harmony of the other units it is helping the other units to be in harmony and together they make a larger harmony so you can see in our body all these cells are there they are not fighting with each other they are not russia and ukraine so they are coexisting and they are participating in the larger harmony making a heart or making a lung the lungs are also participating in the larger harmony of the body like that okay. human being is an integral part of this whole entire nature this entire existence and it has a role to play in it every unit has a role to play in it in fact that role is also definite some definite role to play in this for the human being this recognition and fulfillment depends on on their assuming based it depends on their sanskar so a human being has this role to play to understand this whole entire existential harmony the coexist harmony and the relationship to purify one sanskar and to live with that with happiness and prosperity and all that so that is the role of the human being and it's a definite role isn't it what is to be understood we have seen you know how many things are to be understood you can put it as relationship harmony and coexistence you can put it as nine things but is it definite or is it indefinite definite it is definite isn't it it's very definite so coexistence is ever present it is it will be it was or it was it is and it will be the coexistence coexistence means units and space 
So the units will be there, not as the larger unit, but the fundamental units. So the fundamental units and space was, is and always will be. And this one is a repetition. Every unit is energized, self-organized. It is able to recognize its relationship. Now, how is it able to recognize its relationship and fulfill that relationship? We'll see how it happens. Okay. Coexistence is ever effective. That means that at any level when you see the coexistence, you can see the coexistence at every level. Now when you look at nature, you can see we have classified it into four orders for the sake of understanding them. So now we'll see this column about submergence. Okay. It's a very important chart. So when you see the physical order, the soil, the metal, the water, air, all these things, there is this interaction. And Ganeshi gave that example of the piece of iron and water and air when they interact, then what happens? Okay. So there is some interaction going on. That interaction is in the form of formation deformation. And through this activity of formation deformation, something new is composed and something old is decomposed. Okay, clear? And till this happens, this composition decomposition happens, it exists in the harmony that it is in. So a piece of iron will stay as a piece of iron till some composition decomposition happens. Similarly, all the units in the pranic order, these plants, these trees, in addition to the interaction, there is pulsation. Okay. There is vibration. Okay. This vibration gives rise to respiration. Taking something in and giving something out. So have you ever wondered how in the same soil when you plant a, a, a mango tree, it gives rise to a mango. And in the same soil, if you plant, uh, what do you call karela, this bitter god, eh, you get bitter god. It's the same soil. Okay. How is that happening? No, seed is different, okay. But the seed has the ability to have this kind of interaction with the soil, with the same soil. Isn't it amazing? Is it definite or indefinite? If you plant a mango seed, you will get a mango plant, you will get a mango fruit. Okay. So this interaction and pulsation will give rise to respiration. In fact, formation deformation plus respiration. That seed will transform into a plant, it will transform into a tree. So it is something is happening, something is deforming, something is forming. And at the same time, it is taking something from the soil, you know, forming a mango or neem or whatever, you know, bitter god. Now the effect of this unit on the other unit 
that is the natural characteristic is also definite but it will depend on the unit one unit to the other unit so there is a plant called belladonna if goats eat it it is healthy for them if human beings eat it it is not healthy for them so either it will nurture the body or it will worsen the body you can see that no these plants so it has the natural characteristic of either nurturing the other unit or worsening the other unit yes Mm, this nurturing worsening can uh, be uh, for there for the uh, physical order also no oxygen means uh, it will nurture the body uh, carbon monoxide means it will worsen the body why is it, it is not shown as nurture worsen there its basic natural characteristic is this it will participate in the composition or decomposition and that composition decomposition may have an effect on your if you are talking about human being what is the effect of oxygen on human being on the body of the human being then there will be some composition decomposition on the basis of that it may get worsened or nurtured then the name same thing is chemical uh, reaction only will be nurturing and uh, worsening uh, for the trees also no yes trees also yeah trees are generating this oxygen okay so they are nurturing providing a nurturing environment for human being or for all uh, animals that have this uh, respiration okay then we come to this animal order in the animal order in addition to this interaction and pulsation there is this sensitivity they are able to recognize and fulfill based on the sensitivity they have senses through which they can uh, uh, recognize their relationship with other units they can taste they can see okay so that sensitivity is there in the body this for animals i mean in the self using the body there is sensitivity in the self so they are able to see the form they are able to guess the property or they are able to do something with the property and decide on things based on the smell the taste the sight all of that okay. and similarly they are either cruel or non cruel it is not just a property of the body it is a property of the self okay now the self has associated with the body and so it is able to do this assuming okay and then comes the human being and in the human being the body is similar to the plant similar to the animal body okay in the self in addition to the sensitivity there is a knowability that means the activities of contemplation understanding and realization are there okay so that gives rise to this possibility of all of this perseverance bravery generosity kindness con- uh, this uh, uh, compassion all those things okay so we have studied this chart and uh, this is a very important chart if we just keep this we can decide many things how to interact with nature so if you are doing tree plantation or if you are choosing the kind of food we should uh, we can you know keep this chart in place somewhere okay. 
the important thing to note is based on the coexistence based on the submergence because the unit is submerged in space this interaction this pulsation this sensitivity this knowability is gen is developing unit to unit it is developing this gives rise to the activity which gives rise to the natural characteristic and the self organization okay so i reordered it in this order because earlier we hadn't put it in that order so if you see the slides they are not in this order so we have put it in this order now so that it is easy to easier to uh, interpret it all these slides are available uh, supraja have you shared the this one slides ah okay 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 all these slides are there in the uh, link which is in the group description okay we'll update this this slide is updated so we'll put the updated slides also so you can have it and these words i have just put some uh, definitions that pulsation is vibration through which one cell recognizes its relationship with the other cell so there is that is how it is doing the recognition and fulfillment and you can ask ganesh ji how earth is recognizing its relationship with the sun i still don't know but <laughs> why the earth is not falling down <laughs> those questions i don't know yet okay so similarly respiration based on this pul pulsation there is respiration that is taking something in and taking something out the example was given about the pulse the human body's pulse okay so the blood is coming in and going out of the heart so from every cell there is something coming in and something going out that is the meaning of respiration not just air we say respiration in the body at a gross level air is coming into the body and air, carbon dioxide is going out okay. but respiration in this sense means anything coming in and something going out so from a cell something is coming into the cell nurturing uh, elements are coming in some fluid is coming in and something is going out yeah can you go back to the previous slide ah. activity and natural characteristic what you have written is activity is taking place during the interaction with the other unit and natural characteristic is the interaction with the other unit can you give some more light upon this activity is taking place means Uh, maybe we'll have to refine these words, but basically, what I mean is that there is something going on inside the unit, and there is something going on between two units. Mm -hmm. There is interaction. Yeah. During the interaction, something is happening within the unit. Also, there are smaller units. Yeah. So they are doing the same thing. So I couldn't find proper words for it, mm. but it is within the unit. Something is happening. and then between two units something is happening that is activity yeah there is activity in the unit in the unit also and there is interaction between the units yeah. you can qualify it yeah you can qualify it true okay
Now, when we look at space, this was also discussed, but I've marked some points in uh, highlighted some points because I thought that was quite interesting. Okay. So, when you are looking at the space through the selecting testing, you see it as a gap between two units that we can easily see. Okay. When you are analyzing and comparing, okay, you are able to see what is the effect of one unit on the other unit. Okay. So, when you eat some food, some kind of food, you may or may not be able to, may not be aware of what is the effect of that on your body many times. Okay. But if you become aware, you are able to see that, that whenever I have milk, I might start coughing. So that might happen. So if I am able to see that, then I will, uh, you know, take care of that. So, and this is because every unit is reflected on every other unit. The image of every unit is there on every other unit. If I have the subtleness to see that the effect of milk on my stomach, if I am able to see that, right, I need that subtleness to be able to see that. Okay. So every unit is reflected on every other unit. That is one of the characteristics of space. So that is why you can see in the marriage ceremonies in the south, there is one star, uh, one pair of stars that one has to see Arunditi and Vashisht. No, 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 it is, it is a pair of stars and the, the property of that pair of stars is that they are going around each other. It is not one star going around the other. Okay. Now the question is, how did this uh, start? Who saw this without telescope, without this and that? And it is a very rare pair of stars. So, if every unit is reflected in every other unit and I have the subtlety to see it, I can see everything. Okay. So, that is realization. I am not there, but this is what. <laughs> okay. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. And as you develop as we develop, we will keep on participating in the well-being of all. We will get rid of jealousy, we will get rid of all this uh, ego, uh, attachment, aversion, all these things will go away. So, you don't have to be afraid of people who are well, you know, developing. You can relate to them, they will relate to you. So, every unit is reflected onto every other unit. So, you can see that. At the level of contemplation, one can see that the space is the basis of relationship. It is, we are related to each other naturally. In this existence, everything is related to everything else. If we can see that, We will participate in the well-being of all. At the level of understanding, we will see that space is a reality in which every unit is self-organized in harmony. We will be able to see that that is how it is. It is a base for this harmony. And realization, you can see that coexistence, we can see the space itself and the coexistence, the units submerged in space. 
and it is the basis for all all knowledge truth yes all that you can say you only have to see it realize it space is the base that's why you know the up and down is not there i asked that question earth why doesn't it fall down there is no up and no down it is in space okay now last part is about if i understand or when i understand all of this what is my state of being okay so two things i'm going to mention one is how i compare and how i uh, in, uh, so at least we'll start with this how i compare okay without the right understanding my choices are basically based on if it is appealing to the senses is it conducive to health or is it profitable to me i have to work less and get more whether it is in terms of money or whether it is in terms of work is it profitable is it do i have to do less effort and get more that is what this profit means okay once i start understanding relationship okay harmony and coexistence is a shift from this to this okay i am using my sensation is appealing to the senses for nurturing and protection of the body and its right utilization so i am able to figure out whether this food is worth eating or not from the smell of it from the sight of it etc so i am using the senses still using the senses and continue to use the senses but i am making right utilization of the senses here i might be using the senses for happiness okay. like kumar gave the example of nero he is using the senses for what for happiness isn't it so my hap- my senses will be used for nurturing protection of the body and its right utilization this conducive to health may become an obsession for indulgence without guide without being guided once it is guided then it will be for ensuring the health of the body okay. so over here i might not know when to stop eating something tasty does it happen okay over here i'll be able to stop eating when it is something tasty when my stomach is full i'll be aware of it i'll be able to do that okay so i'll use uh this for health of the body and similarly this profitable will ultimately be for right utilization for the feeling of prosperity not just for accumulation this will lead to accumulation unguided will lead to assumed so your whole uh, basis for analyzing will shift from here to there in a gradual way if we understand so understanding is the base for this shift in uh, selecting tasting i mean in sorry if uh, for my uh, analysis the basis for my analysis how i compare okay so with this i'll be able to see that role of sensation or right utilization of the senses is to keep the body in good health by nurturing it protecting it and to exchange right understanding and right feeling with the other human being 
this is my right utilization for the sensation. Right utilization of the body, it's an instrument for communication, instrument for labor and an instrument for compute, continuity of human tradition. If required, if you want to continue with the human tradition, then the body has to be utilized. And the role of physical facility is for nurturing protection of the body and its right utilization would be for exchanging right understanding and right feeling as well as participation in other aspects of social system, for social development, societal development. So we keep talking about self-development, team development and I mean we talk about self-development, team development and societal development. So you will use the physical facility for these. Similarly, the tasting, the what is the basis for selecting on the basis of taste. So when it is unguided, we are trying to draw happiness out of the sensation. Okay. But with our understanding of human goal, our understanding of our participation, of our value, of relationship, okay. we can replace this with uh, coexistence, harmony and uh, relationship. Okay. With that understanding, my sensation, I will not only taste the sensation of the, you know, the physical things, but I will also have a taste of relationship. I will also have a taste of the feeling. I will also have a taste of whether this is going in the right, for the right goal, well-being of all. So, I will use that tasting for all of these then. So with my uh, comparing set right, my tasting set right, my understanding set right and then all this will happen. Okay. So what will be my state as a human being? This is the desired state for myself. Okay. So desired state is that I have realized coexistence. I have understood harmony, I have contemplated on relationship, I have the right feelings, I am at what, 3A, 3B or 2C? So we are at least at 2C. Okay. So with that, I am in a state of happiness peace, satisfaction, bliss and all of this, you know, super bliss. And with this state of my continuous happiness, these are some details about happiness which we have already discussed, so I won't go into this. But with this, what will be my participation in the larger order? A happy self, a happy human being, what would be my participation, what would be my conduct. So I will have human conduct, which means my behavior with human being will result into mutual happiness and I will have that feeling of love for all human beings. So as far as I am concerned, the society will be undivided for me and for every human being if we are able to reach there, it will be an undivided human society. My work with nature, with the rest of nature, will result into mutual prosperity. My prosperity as well as the prosperity of the rest of nature. And my participation in the larger order will always be unconditionally for the fulfillment of human goal, resulting into universal human order, a human order which is for the well-being of all and when that happens for all time, that is the human tradition.
that there will be a tradition, a human system of being related to each other, having the feeling of love for each other and working for the well-being of all, making sure of that. Okay. So this is what we have been discussing uh, and we are going to still continue to discuss this, uh, this part behavior work, all that, but up to 3.3 we have discussed so far. Okay. Sir, sir. Yes. So, uh, since the space is there, so can we conclude that we, nothing never touches anything, a, 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 any object never touches any other object? So, even There's the pressure space. that we feel or touching that feel that happens in space. The feeling of touch. Yeah. Somebody has touched. That never happens. Touching. No, the touch will be, you can sense that. Uh, so only sensing is happening. You, you never only sense that. You will give meaning to that there sensation. Will, there but will always be a space. There will always be a space between these two objects. Any two objects, there will be a space. In between them, inside them, around them, there will always be space. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's it from my side. Thank you very much. <laughs>